ipmnation.com. On 100.1 The Planet, Matt from IPMNation.com. Sitting here at The Planet with our guest this week on Local Outbreak is The Cranks. How are you all? We are good. How yeah. are you? I am well. <laughs> <laughs> and also with me, of course, as always, is Tim Martin working the board. If you need a DJ for your event, go to CentralNHEvents.com and you can hire Tim. He does a great job and... Uh, you know, you'll have to pay him, but he'll show up. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's your basic uh, capitalism, you know. But uh, go to centralnhevents.com to hire Tim to be your DJ. And we're going to talk with uh, Connor and Greg. And uh, also, um, we'll talk to Haley tonight as well. There's three of you in the band, right? It's just the three of you? Yep. Yes. All right, cool. And you're going to play for us later too, right? Yeah. Very good, very good. Well, you brought a CD with you, so why don't we uh, we'll play a track, and we'll come back and chat. What do you uh, guys want to start the show with? Um, I don't know. How about Mexico? Yeah. Mexico, all right. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good, fun one. Yeah, absolutely. I, I like Mexico. that song. All right, so this is Mexico from the Cranks here on Local Outbreak on 100.1 The Planet. Yeah. 
Local outbreak on 100.1 The Planet, Math, MyPMNation.com, here with The Cranks. Have you always been a three-piece? Has this always been the configuration of the band? Um, we used to have four people a long time ago, and we had another guitarist, and Haley, our lead guitarist now, was, a, I was on a piano. But we weren't really The Cranks back then. That was actually, it was just kind of a garage. I mean, we didn't do a ton with it. And then that guitarist left, and Haley moved up to guitar, and we didn't get a replacement, so... Yeah, that's, I guess, how the Cranks form. Yeah, we, we've been together for a long time, but yeah, we've been the Cranks as a three-piece for about five years. Oh, really? Okay. How old are you guys? You guys are really young, and you've already been in this band five years. What's, uh, how, what's everyone's ages? Connor and Haley are twins, and they're 16, okay. and I'm 15. Okay, wow. So did you all meet in school, or how did, how did you start the band? It was actually Haley and Connor and then another kid. And then me and Connor met through f- fifth grade football. Yeah, I was yeah. in sixth grade. We were, doing, we were, we were at Pee Wee football, and our parents met. And okay. So I actually didn't play bass. I actually played guitar, and they need a bass player, so I just yeah. thought I could step in for a little. And what happened to this other guitar player that, that was in the... Because I'm always looking for the dirt. Is it a good <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. It was, just, it was kind of pretty sudden. He just decided to leave. <laughs> Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is kind of sadly, but it wasn't necessarily a bad thing, I guess. Because right. as soon, as, <laughs> I mean, not not to not to be saying anything bad about him. He was a great guitar player, but when we lost him, we kind of changed our sound, and then uh, people started saying like the <laughs> first show we played, we like we won like three battle of the bands, battle of the bands in a row, and everyone was like, "Oh, you guys sound great. What'd you change?" And we're like, "We lost our lead guitarist. Yeah, <laughs> we changed everything." <laughs> So it was uh, addition by subtraction. Nothing yeah, wrong with yeah. that. So, so it's been a. So how long has it been the three of you then at this point for for five years? Yeah. Or was yeah okay. four or five years? Yeah. So um, pretty pretty serious about the band at such a young age. That's really cool. I wish yeah. I had that kind of drive and determination when <laughs> I was fifteen or sixteen. I did not, but I, I really admire that. <laughs> so, and you've already got an album out. Um, is this your, your first release or have you put other stuff out before this? That is our second. Second. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And this is uh, how many tracks are on here? Seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay. So it's a full length. Um, when did your first one come out? Oh. Um, our first one came out, uh, a year, about ago? a year and a half ago. Yeah. 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 A year and a half ago. And it had about, it had seven songs on it. We just called it an EP. Yeah. And, um, yeah, but those songs are very old. Yeah. Very old by, by now. By the really? time that one came out, we had already written half. Yeah, of our but, new CD. yeah, a, a bunch of songs in that album. We just wanted to get the other ones recorded and done. Was, yeah, yeah. Do you all write together? Yeah, yeah. We all start collaborate on uh, some on some uh, tune together, I guess, and then Haley will write mm. the words. Yeah. Now, what's it like? Because you and Haley are twins, so <clears throat> does that? Um, I'm not sure how to put it. Does it make things easier in terms of playing music together in the sense that you're able to kind of, you have that, you know, you hear about that. Twins have that kind of intuition. They can. Oh, we definitely have that <laughs> intuition. You? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we definitely do. Uh, I mean, just coming up with songs and things, me and Haley are always kind of thinking alike. And, and especially since we live together, we can, we can think of uh, just different songs to work on when Greg's not around and just, mm-hmm. or just things to start that we can build more on on band practice when Greg's with yeah. us. Yeah. And that I can always record when I'm gone, so. Right. Yeah, drum and vo- drum vocals. Uh, drums, vocals, and guitar we can all do when, without Greg, so that's pretty easy. Yeah. So I'm always recording alone. <laughs> <It's a great laughs> you feel case. outnumbered, Greg? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how much material do you have at this point as far as original material? We probably have about... 16 um, completely finished yeah. recorded songs. And then we also have about three songs that we're working in progress we're, right now yeah. and then lots of guitar riffs and stuff that are in yeah. the making. Really? Yeah. A lot of rough <laughs> sketches. Right, right. Do you play a lot of shows? Yeah. I mean, I, I know I know when you're young, it's there's there can be a challenge in that you can't... Obviously, you can't go out and do bars typically, yeah. but... But do, do you find a lot of other shows to play, a lot of all-ages yeah. shows? or what? I feel like we do more shows during the school year. Really? 
Yeah, yeah. we do lots of uh, open mics, Battle of the Bands. Um, Good. There's lots of different local places that we play at, like Tecan Pub, Sad Cafe, things like that. Mm-hmm. And um, also, like during the summer, we play lots of festivals. We just played Good. the Burlington Festival and... Some there's other festival. In, yeah. <laughs> there's another one in New Hampshire. Yeah. Somewhere in New Hampshire. <laughs> Do you find that you're getting busier every year with the band? Mm. Yeah, we we definitely pick yeah more serious shows and things. Yeah. Yeah. As we Bigger. Yeah. Because we right. started with, like, I don't know, talent shows. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, yeah, that's where you start, you know, so mm. that's great. And um, do do a lot of your friends from school come to your shows or... Uh, uh, s- somewhat. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. we go to different schools. Right, so. yeah. You're kind of scattered yeah. that way, so. Um, and how how often are you able to get together for practice? We Pretty, tr- pretty often. Yeah. yeah. We try for about once a week. Yeah. But there's always com- commitments and, yeah. yeah, lots of all confusion and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got hectic lives. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That, that's always... I know for me, being in bands, that's always been one of the biggest challenges is just getting everybody together for a good, solid practice, you know? Mm. It can be, it can be mm-hmm. tricky. But, um, no, it's impressive that, you, that you're so young and you're making it work, you know, and you're um, looking at the band's presence online and looking at the website and everything. It looks like you've already got a lot going on. Yeah. So, so that's really great. And um, why don't we play another track from the disc? And, and I know we're going to hear a live performance later, but what, what do you guys want to play? We're going to do Under Radar. Okay. So we'll play this. We'll come back. We'll get Haley in the mix, talk to her a bit. We'll hear you guys live. But in the meantime, uh, this is Under Radar from the Cranks here on Local Outbreak on 100.1 The Planet. The planet's local outbreak with IPMNation.com. Local outbreak on 100.1 The Planet, Matt from IPMNation.com, here with the Cranks. And uh, Greg is still with us, and Haley is also with us now. How are you, Haley? I'm great. Welcome. And um, so, what's it like playing with your twin brother in a band? It's, uh, 
it's good and bad. Yeah. You know, he... <laughs> All right, we're always looking for the dirt, like I said earlier. What's uh-huh. the bad parts? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we got the twin tuition going. You know, yeah. we kind of, like even today, we were working on something and we were talking and collaborating. How can we move this thing forward? And all of a sudden, we just looked at each other and we had the exact same idea of what to do. Yeah. And that was just kind of awesome. Yeah, that's um, good. And then I don't know, you know, we're brother and sister, so we, you know, we can fight and bigger with each other and don't really have anything to lose. Right. <laughs> Connor can scowl at me from the drums and, you know, I can't say anything about it kind right. of a thing. Right. There you go. Uh, now, you also do some solo performances, right? Yes, I do. Um, this summer, I'm kind of using it as my job, so almost yeah. as an excuse. <laughs> I get to do this as my job and uh, I work at the Wolfboro Inn. I play some acoustic shows. Mm-hmm. Usually uh, Tuesday or Wednesday nights, just for about two hours. Very cool. And do you play anywhere else doing the acoustic shows or just there? Uh, An open mic every once in a while if I can find it, but not so much during the summer. Yeah. I find. Now, when you do the solo acoustic thing, are you doing crank songs? Are you doing covers? What are you doing in that Um, scenario? A little bit of both. I don't do too much cranks acoustic because I just, I feel so bad about it because I feel like I'm leaving so much out and it just, it, it hurts me to not, you know, have every different detail that we've written in the song be in, you know, in the live performance. Right. But I do play, you know, I play our song Good Guys and I play an old song called Long Day and I play lots of covers too. Mm-hmm. Now, when the three of you play, do you ever do an acoustic set? The three of you or is it always electric? We've actually just been doing acoustic sets. Really? Yeah, within the month. We've been learning acoustic songs. Mm-hmm. And actually, um, a little while ago, when, when we were we were actually scheduled to come here and we messed up, we made... Oh, yeah, but, um, <laughs> in Manchester. But I heard you <laughs> made the best of it. Yeah, it wasn't the worst thing. That was our first acoustic gig. We just played for two hours on the streets. Don't call it a gig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, we made $9, and we... Played yeah. for two hours. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Nine Sweet bucks money. will buy a tank of gas. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, good. Um, so what what is it that made you guys decide to start being able to do the set acoustic as well, just to kind of open up new opportunities for you? Or We're, We weren't even like planning to have an acoustic set. We were just playing at their lake house. I acoustic. think it was... In preparation for this show that we decided, oh, okay, yeah. we can do this. Right, right. So thank you, actually. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> no, that's cool, though, because that does open up some more venues to you, too. If the, you yeah. know, some places that will only that only want acoustic stuff, you know, you can... That really opens up where you can play. When you... Do you do any covers in your live set when it's the three of you? Yeah, a few. Yeah, because I know you do a, a Guster uh, cover. Yep, we have Barrel mm-hmm. of a Gun. Yeah. And then... Uh, Demons. The, yep, Demons, which is our new one. And The Weight by Pretenders. Oh, okay. And t- tell me about influences, because um, when I when I hear your stuff, I mean, it sounds... It's a little hard to categorize it. I hear some different things. I mean, I definitely hear some sublime influence, but maybe also a, a punk vibe to some of it. And uh, I don't know. How do you... Everyone hates this question, but how do you describe your own music and, and what, what influences you? Um, my favorite bands are Kings of Leon, Weezer, Guster, all the way. And mm-hmm. recently, I really like Jack Johnson, too. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> kind of the same. Yeah. Yeah, Kings of Leon... Sublime, Guster, basically the same as them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I know um, you guys are going to play live for us tonight. And uh, a couple tunes, you're going to do um, one of yours. And then I think also for the podcast version that goes up on IPMNation.com, we'll have a bonus performance. But uh, what's the song that you're uh, going to perform for us tonight? Uh, Good Guys, which is on our new album. All right, very good. So um, let's do that now. And uh, this is uh, Good Guys performed live right here at the Planet Studio. So this is very cool. Thanks for doing this. Acoustic and live in the studio from uh, The Cranks here on Local Outbreak. Us 
the clouds are hid behind today. Over my shoulder, the silky darkness engulfing me with the world, and I've just had enough. You can't hide behind these walls forever. Welcome to break on 100.1 The Planet, Matt from IPMNation.com, sitting here with the Cranks, and I uh, heard a great live performance earlier of, uh, what was the name of that song again? Good Guys. Good Guys, okay, very cool. And I assume there's an electric version on the disc? Yes. Okay, cool. And um, also, too, just want to remind everybody, get the podcast version of tonight's show at IPMNation.com slash local outbreak, because there is a uh, bonus, uh, some bonus material on the podcast version. You can also hear... Um, the cover of uh, what are you guys going to do for the cover? Demons, demons Guster. From, from Guster. So definitely check that out. And in the meantime, uh, let's recap. Uh, what do you have coming up for shows that you want to mention? Anything big coming up to finish um, up the summer? Or? We we we've got some battles and some festivals coming up in the fall. Right now, we're just writing music though. Okay, but you got a lot coming up in the fall. Hmm. And we're we're looking for some parties and sweet sweet sixteens to play too. Oh no, kidding! Yeah. Oh, now you mentioned that you're writing music now. Do you have another album already, kind of in the works? Um, barely. Yeah, <laughs> barely, yeah. Barely. Early stages. Some yes. kind of an EP that has maybe two or three songs. Oh, at okay. This point. All right. <laughs> that's cool. And uh, probably no idea then when that's going to be out because it's probably mm-hmm. going to be a while since you're just starting. So, but um, for people. To want to keep up with what you're doing, upcoming shows and whatnot in the fall, uh, where do we find you online? Where's the best place to get all that? Um, we are on our. What we keep track of the most is our Facebook page. Okay. Uh, just the cranks, or we have our website www.thecranks.com, which has all of our information on. It has pictures. It has different dates, even you know song lyrics. Mm-hmm. And recently, we are on iTunes. Okay. If Great. you search the cranks and our album name Downside Up, uh, we'll show up, and then you can get our music there too. Okay, is everything that you've put out on iTunes or just the recent mm, stuff? Just the recent okay. album. Do you plan to make the 
the other stuff available too, or are you just kind of more focused on <laughs> maybe? Yeah, maybe <laughs> we'll see what it's happens. A secret. Yeah, <laughs> figure it out. And the tunes are on the website too, of course. You've got the streaming yeah. audio player. It's got our website. upcoming gigs and everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely, very cool, and it's a nice website. So, well, um, thank you all, Haley, Greg, Connor. Thank you all for being here with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. This has been very cool. And as always, thank you to Tim Martin. Go to centralnhevents.com if you need a DJ for your event. Hire that man. He'll do a great job. CentralNHEvents.com. And I want to remind everybody, too, get the podcast. Go to IPMNation.com slash local outbreak. You can uh, download tonight's show as well as every other episode, except for one, except for the original Lost episode, (laughs) which is not yet available, but we will get it up there. And uh, thank you again. What do you guys want to wrap up the show with? We'll play one more track from the disc. Um, Hmm. I don't know what should we do. Maybe seven? Yeah. Sound good? We'll do seven. seven. All right, great. This is seven from The Cranks here on Local Outbreak on 100.1 The Planet. Thanks, guys. Thank Thank you. you. It's local outbreak with ipmnation.com.
The Planet's local outbreak is recorded weekly at the studios of 100.1 The Planet. It's engineered by Tim Martin of CentralNHEvents.com. Matt Connerton of IPMNation.com is the host of The Planet's local outbreak. The show is produced and edited by Annie Biello of 100.1 The Planet. For artist links and details about The Planet's local outbreak, log on to The Planet's Entertain Me page, WPNHFM.com. The Planet's Local Outbreak is available for download anytime online, ipmnation.com slash local outbreak. The Planet's Local Outbreak is a product of 100.1 The Planet and Northeast Communications.